Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. So this past week I went to one thrift store and while I was there I had camping on my mind. While you are watching this video, my daughter Joe and I are actually going to be doing tent camping in the fall and this is the, my favorite time to go camping. It's going to be a little chilly. But, that's alright, I'm so looking forward to it, she's looking forward to it, we're going to go camping, do some hiking, it's going to be so much fun, and I'm so excited about it. But, I thought before I went, that it would be nice, like we have a camper, and that thing is supposedly stocked with everything we could possibly need. But I wanted to make a little kit for just tent camping, so I could have separate items for that, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So, I picked up some things at the thrift store for our tent camping excursions without having to repeat items and have some things in the camper and then have to go dig them out and all that kind of stuff. So I spent, I don't know, less than six dollars I think on a few things that would make life easier for just tent camping. So I'm going to share that with you of course, but I also found some other things that are really exciting. So let's go ahead and jump right in to what else I found and then we'll do the camping stuff at the end. Alright, so the first thing I found was two hand towels. They were $1.99 each. You know how I love these vintage hand towels. I've had quite a bit of luck lately finding some. And these ones have this beautiful floral print on them. And they're in really good condition. They're nice and soft. And I think they have a tag on them. Where is it? Spring Made. There we go. They are by Spring Made. 100% cotton. Made in the USA. So yeah, I just thought the uh, print was really super cute. I love that so much. I think it is so cool. And then I was super excited to find the washcloths as well. There's two of these. These are also $1.99 each, which is kind of weird, but that's all right. So I picked up two of the washcloths as well, and I think these are so cute. And I just love them, and I can't wait to use them. So, that was a fun find. So then, of course, with Halloween coming up very soon, I'm always looking for, you know, vintage-inspired things that I can use in my decor, um, that sort of thing. And one of the things that I always seem to pick up is little ghost figurines. I have, like, three or four of them, and so I thought, well, maybe I'd start adding some of that to my collection. So I found this little guy. I don't think he's very old, but he kind of has a little vintage vibe to him. He was $1.49. He actually holds a little candle, and it's a little ghost with a little witch hat on, and he's carrying a little pumpkin. I thought he was super cute. So I picked that up to use in my Halloween decor, which I'm putting together this week sometime. Hopefully it'll be up probably later in the week. So I'm a little behind on that, actually. I was hoping to have it done last weekend, but that didn't work out. So... <laughs> Now on to the next weekend. So, next thing I found was another Halloween item as well. It's a little grab bag full of little goodies. It was $1.99. And let's see, the first thing in it is this little um, trio of ghosts. It's a mama, a daddy, <laughs> and a little baby. It's got the little cat, some cute little pumpkins here. It does feel like it's wax, but I don't see a wick on this. So I'm not quite sure how that is, but it's definitely wax. It's actually supposed to like glow in the dark. So it's placed under a lamp or light for 30 to 45 minutes. I don't know. So anyways, maybe it's not wax. It just feels like wax. But anyways, I thought it was cute. So that was adorable. There is also this little baby pumpkin right here. He's definitely a candle. I thought that was super cute. And then I've got two more things here. This is a candle as well. It's like this little ball. And it's got a little ghost on it. And then there's another ball here. And this one is a little pumpkin. And this one's a candle as well. So I thought that was kind of cute. I can throw them in with my Halloween decor. Those little filler pieces, if nothing else. So, that was a good find. Alright, so then, of course, this Christmas stuff is starting to show up in the thrift stores a little bit more often. And I found this cute little cup for $1.49. And I thought it was adorable. It's got, like, 
a little tree and like a little village. And then I just go around and it's got like doves. And then something else is underneath the tag over here. Let's see if I can take this off. Oh, it's got a bell. A red bell. I love bells. There we go. And then it's got the bell there on the end. So I don't know. I thought it was really cute. There's no markings on the bottom that I can read anyways. So I don't know where this came from. But it's got a cute little handle. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> so I don't know. I just thought I could use this as a, some sort of display. Maybe put some candy canes. Little baby candy canes. I don't know. Maybe a little tree in it. I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with for this. If not, it can just sit in up in my little cubbies and add a little Christmas cheer to the space. So that was a fun little find. Oh, put this back in me. I'm running out of space on my little side table over here. Then I started looking at the frames. Um, I'm in the need of a few like just basic frames that I could paint up and reuse for downstairs in my craft area. I want to redo the wall behind it and stuff and put in like cutesy little things in the glass that kind of remind me of my childhood or remind me of somebody, something like that. So I was looking to see if I could find any cheap frames. And the first one I found was this one right here. It's just a basic, looks like it's probably like oak or something like that. It was 99 cents. Can't go wrong with that. And then I also picked up another one and it looks like this. Now this one is more of a shadow box kind, which I thought was really cool. So I could put something that's a little bigger in it. And this one was also 99 cents. And this one's also in like oak, which I will give it a little makeover. So that was really cool that we could find two picture frames and a little future project in the works. So that was a good find. Eh. All right, so then the last thing that is not for camping is this book right here, Cinderella. <laughs> and this goes with what I'm trying to do for downstairs. Now, when my oldest daughter, Jasmine, was... What did you do? Naughty! Rain, ma. Did you knock something? He just knocked my candle off the table. Finn? Off the desk. That's what Dad did. He threw a shoe at me. No, this just fell down. You said you said dad knocked the stuff? Well I knocked it out earlier and then break. I caught it like right here. No, this is upside down. Off. I caught it right here. No, that was on the floor. Finn, don't eat it! No! It's just wax, baby. You don't need to eat that. Why do you have socks? It's just a toy, it's a toy. Oh, I guess it's getting socks now. She's giving us socks for Christmas. What do I do with my book that I was carrying? I'm in the middle of it right now. Are you filming? Yes. Right now? Yes, it's still going. Hello. <laughs> I'm hungry. Now Zoe's in the fridge. Rayma, I don't know. Okay. You know the new desk I put in my living room? Well, there's a chair that sits right next to it. And Rayma keeps taking everything off of my desk. So she must have been up on the desk again. And she knocked the stuff off the top shelf of the desk. Like, what is she doing up there? I don't know what she's trying to get. She already destroyed those awesome pine coat, those awesome acorns that were in that bowl, if you remember what I'm talking about. I woke up from a nap. The other day, and she had all three of them shredded. I was like, what are you doing, Doug? Anyways. All right. Let's get back to business. So he has got to get out of here so I can finish up. I'm just going to keep going. I don't have time to stop. All right. So back to this book. <laughs> when Jasmine was super little, her favorite, like two years old, could barely, you know, was just starting to, like, really get into, like, watching TVs and stuff. Cinderella was her favorite favorite sh er, movie and it was so hilarious because she couldn't say Cinderella she called her Cinderblella and it was hilarious and we loved it and thought it was so cute so anyways I saw this book and books were like 75% off this week they're having some sort of sale 
So, <laughs> I'm taking this. So anyways, I'm going to pick one of the pages out of here that I like the best. I'll frame it up somehow, do something with it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. But, so I'll get it in a frame. I'll hang it on my wall down there so then when I see it, it'll remind me of that special time when she was little and she was in love with Cinderella. So, I just thought it was fun. So that's kind of what I'm gonna. That's kind of what I'm gonna be doing with that whole space down there, which I know I keep talking about, and I still haven't even started on it. But I'm gathering all the little stuff, you know. Oh, Rayma, no biting. Okay, back it up, dogs. Back it up. All right. Now for the camping stuff. Not that it's really camping, really camping stuff per se, but I just wanted certain things that I can use for camping. So. First thing I did was I needed something to like cook in. So I found this little guy right here. He was $3.99. He does have a little lid. And it's just a little pot so we can like, I don't know, boil water in it. We It does have a little spout. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or no, but it does have a little spout right here. Very tiny, but we can use it to boil water in for making hot chocolate or coffee in the morning. We can cook our rice in it or some noodles in it or whatever we want to do with it. And I don't have to worry about it. Um, it can just be something that I'll use over the campfire and not ever have to worry about using it anywhere else. And that's what I wanted. So I picked that up. And speaking of, you know, and then speaking of hot beverages, because it's going to be chilly. I think it's going to be 43 for a high one day and then like 53 the next day. We're going to need some warm beverages. So I picked myself up this little mug right here for $1.49. I don't know what it kind of where it's from. It does have no markings. And then I also picked up this mug right here, which is super cool. It's got like this deer on it. And I love this one. It's red and white. And it's a nice big chunky. I like it. So this one is also $149. And then I also picked up one more mug. And this is a nice big one. This one's from Crate and or Bradshaw. Is it what it's from? This one was also, this one was $1.99. And I got this one because this one is nice and big. You can actually like eat soup out of this or, you know, rice, mashed potatoes, something like that, out of that. So I got that one for this one specifically to like eat out of. Um, the other mugs, of course, we can eat out of too, which we probably will because I don't plan to bring like bowls or anything. We're like going like low key, like stealth almost. You know, just a few things to get us through. We're only going for two days. It's not a big deal. So I just wanted a few items. And then the other thing that I thought we would need so we can make pancakes is a frying pan. And I specifically found one with a metal handle and not a plastic handle so that I think I can use it over the fire, which would be awesome. So this was $5.99. It's, you know, not in great shape. The backside looks worse than the inside, but it's going to get all, you know, sooty anyways from the campfire so this will be perfect so i'm very excited about that and not having to spend a lot of money on camping supplies which i don't want to have to do because you know we have we have basic stuff that we can use and that's fine so i was thinking along the lines i'm at the thrift store and the first thing i saw i should show you the first thing i saw was this right here a coleman little water jug this was $2.99 and I saw it in the yellow and I was like, oh my goodness, that is awesome. So I'm like, I'm going to pick that up. We can use it for water, you know. I don't know how big this one is. It's obviously not very big. It's probably just like a quart or something like that. But it's in good condition. It doesn't smell on the inside or anything like that. So I'm like, oh, that would be super cute. We can bring that with us to, you know, put our fresh water in or whatever. So I get that cleaned up for that. So then I'm thinking, well, maybe there's some other cutesy little things that we can use that are like vintage inspired, you know, that are vintage that we could do our, our camping with. And it could be like all cutesy little vintage stuff. And then, of course, my mind went wild. And I'm like, I'm going to keep looking around and see what I can come up with. And I came up with this thermos right here. This is was $2.99 and it's by Aladdin. Can you see that? I'm not really sure. And this is, you got your cup here, and it's actually a thermos. As in, like, I think it's more meant for, like, food, but maybe not. I don't know. Inside is in really good condition, too. 
So I was thinking, you know, we can make some hot water. We can pour it in here, keep it a little warm a little longer if we're going to be away from the campsite and not like have the pot on the stove or on the oven campfire all the time so that would be good or you know if we have leftover food we could throw it in here keep it warm so then we can have it semi-warm later on you know when we get hungry in another hour or so into the into the day so then I also found one more thing which I don't know if this is actually going to be for camping but it's your typical little thermos this one is also by Aladdin and I don't know how high they don't put how much they hold in them which is funny but it's you know your typical thermos got the little cup and the inside looks in really good condition too I think these are the ones with like the glass inside so maybe not I don't know it's very shiny in there but anyways so I picked that up as well I was super excited about this Emily is actually really excited about this because she's like, oh, I could use that to take coffee to work in. I'm like, to school in. And I'm like, yes, you could. So anyways, so we'll have this as well. We can make a pot of hot water, put it in this, keep it warm a little longer when it's cold outside. So I was like, so excited. So our little, our little vintage camping supplies are growing very quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about that. So that is what I picked up this week at the thrift store. So now let's go ahead and see what my viewers have found this week. Today we're starting off with Yvonne's finds. She found this metal bucket for $5, the rolling pin for $3, the white creamer for a dollar, the adorable cat creamer for 50 cents, the pussy willow wreath for $4.09. It looks like she found a little set of wooden drawers as well. That is so cool. I love the whole setup together. It makes for a very nice looking display. Next up is this pitcher found by Karen and she found it for $3. I love the unique shape of it. She also found this gorgeous eggplant for $1. Look at that flower on there. Oh, so pretty. She also found this really cute tray for $5. And this painting for $5. I really love the colors in this painting and then the painting overall, I don't know what it is, but it just seems really homey to me and I absolutely love it. And last but not least, Karen found this absolutely gorgeous plate by Carrier and Ives and look at how she has it displayed. Absolutely beautiful. I love it when you guys send me in photos of your finds in a decorated area because I love, first of all, to see how you guys decorate and two, it gives me inspiration. So thanks for that. And this, of course, is a beautiful display and so perfect for the fall and Thanksgiving. I just love it. Moving on to some finds by Cindy. First of all, she found this gorgeous large wood mirror for five, or I'm sorry, nine dollars and ninety-five cents, and she's already kind of given it a new look with some paint to bring out the detailing, and it is absolutely beautiful. She also found four farmhouse style plates for fifty-nine cents each three-legged stool for $5.99, and then a wood caddy as well. Wonderful finds. Next, we have this amazing watering can found by Debbie for $10. I love it. And then she found this antique butter pat for $4, and it's just so very pretty. And look how she has it displayed. Oh, I love it. And finally, she found these two hens for $6. I think they're so adorable, and I love that they're so colorful. And look, she has them placed on another tiered tray, which is absolutely beautiful. She has got some great skills on the decorating of these tiered trays, something that I need to learn from. Next up is this embroidery and cross-stitch piece found by Fran for $1.97. It is absolutely beautiful and makes me want to start cross-stitching again. Next up is some items found by Rose, and everything she picked up this week looks like it has a 70s vibe, which is very cool. To start off with, she found this mug for 10 pence and this green flowered lampshade for one pound. She also found the coffee pot for two pounds and the amber glasses for 10 pence each. The embroidered tablecloth underneath was one pound and 10, I'm sorry, one pound and 50 pence, and it's absolutely gorgeous. 
This adorable berry teapot was two pounds. The milk glass cups were 10 pence each. The yellow candle holder was 20 pence. The frosted cup in the back with the comic on it was 10 pence. And the green vase was one pound. And finally, the gorgeous linen with her crocheted edge for 25 pence. Here's a close-up of the mugs, which are very pretty and oh so perfect for this time of year. And this last fun find of the day was sent in by Karen, and she found this whole set of mini wooden spoons for only a dollar. How adorable! All right, so thanks once again to everyone who sent in a photo. I appreciate it. I love seeing what you find every week. And I just think this is a fun little aspect of Thrift Store Thursday that I hope you guys are still enjoying. So if you would like to submit a photo for next week's Thrift Store Thursday, look in the description box. The instructions on how to do that are listed there. If you have any questions, of course, leave me a comment. I'll let you know. And I will answer it as best I can. All right, so... Huh. I feel like I really rushed through today's video. I don't know why I feel like I need to hurry today, but I do. So I'm sorry if it was too overly rushed today, um, but I did find some good things that I'm very excited about, and it looks like my viewers found some good things this week as well. And of course, as always, I thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us today, um, and I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Bye now.